hey guys welcome back to unique beauty are you tired of eating rice fufu powdered yam this is the perfect recipe for you and simple recipe that you can use 15 pounds to cook this um, fish ball broccoli bulgur wheat and then with your potato with fish ball stew very easy this recipe you know just all you're going to need your fish guys which i'll be showing you how to clean your fish then also how to fillet your fish once you fillet your fish just like this and how to get your perfect seasoning to get your perfect fish ball just like this all will be coming into this video how to cook your bulgur wheat as well guys so let's start with the fish first you could use any kind of fish guys red fish and then this is the hook fish but i'll put the name i don't know if i'm saying the name right but i'm gonna put the name up for you guys here so you could see it so you don't need to scale the fish all you need to do you just go ahead and mark the fish on the side and the tail so that way when you're taking the skin off it will be easier for you yeah then also if you feel like the the fish skin it's sticking to the meat of the fish go ahead with the knife J just be gentle and be careful with the kind of knife you're using if it's too sharp you could also use your hand to do that but once the fish starts sticking into the skin go ahead again with your knife and just press onto the skin of the fish so that you could get the peel off just like so you could do both sides mark the fish both sides so that you can get the skin off easily then you go ahead and wash the fish very well then with the chopping board wash both of them very well and clean your area very well guys so once you finish cleaning the fish just like so there you go ahead and start using the knife to the soft side of the fish between the bone so just be careful if you feel the bone you just balance you know use a sharp knife and be careful yeah guys so once you finish like so you check for the bones if the fish has any bone then just take it off as you can see this is how you fillet your fish very easy both sides guys so this is the bulgur wheat then with the broccoli i'll be using red onions white onions bell pepper then with the sweet chili then with also with my leg for the flavor guys guys before you always wash your vegetable that sink after cleaning the fish always use bleach to clean your sink area very well for to cut the fish smell then you could go ahead and wash your vegetable yes yeah, so these are all the other stuff i'll be cooperating into the fish bowl this is corn but you could always use um cornstarch other flowers yeah to add to your fish bowl then this is the seasoning i'll be using these these ones powder ones they're from africa then the star maggi yeah just use the measurement with the size of fish you'll be using so i'm using two two spoons of everything there one maggi cube then i'll be using like two teaspoon of that then and the other cow head seasonings then i'm going ahead with the corn two spoon as well guys so the fish it's worth um six pound about the two fish yes yeah, so you just go ahead and use the kind of seasonings you have you know because some of you can cook very well so you just cooperate everything and blend so as you can see if the fish look watery go ahead and use your cornstarch or flour because i'm using the corn i just use it so that i can have that consistency it's not to be watery as you can see yes then you go ahead now have some water in the bowl and then you start molding your fish bowl just like so guys you see how easy very nice I don't use no hot spice there because of I'm going to cook the stew later. So perfectly your fish bowl, it's all mold, it's all ready to fry, guys. I've made a portion because it's two videos I'll be making, guys. So <laughs> yeah, there you go ahead and fry your fish. You could use 100 ml of oil or 200 ml. Yeah, but just be careful when you use small oil, as you can see, it didn't cover the fish bowl to the top sometimes you make it really brownish yes but i want it a bit brownish guys i forgot to measure the fish bowl if you're 
blending it before you blend it you could also use peanut butter just a bit but mind you when you use peanut butter when you fry it like this it gets scattered just because of the kind of peanut butter we're having here so i i'll prefer not to use peanut butter then it gives you the perfect finished look just like so these are all the other ingredients we're going to be cooperating to make the stew base so we need broccoli look for the big ones when you're buying it don't buy the small small ones one tin of plum tomato then with the oil you just use 100 ml of oil then you go ahead and add the chili blend which i will be putting all the description below the measurement how much you should use with the fish and everything to get the perfect finishing guys so please i'll just write that on the description below just check it I'm going ahead now and add all the seasonings that I've used. Then I'm adding the tomato plum. I meant to use half tin anyway, but I, I will take some out yeah, off camera, guys. So I'm going ahead now and add my bay leaf, just two for flavor. The bay leaf from Africa is the best, guys. The flavor, it's endless. So then I'll be adding my two spoon of spice as well. The chili that I've cooked, I got that from Africa as well, guys. That full video is coming up, guys. You're going to love that. So then I'll mix. So once I mix, then I'll cover to steamer. I didn't use tomato paste because of the plum tomato tin was a bit ready. So this is why I didn't use the tomato paste. But if you use different tin, you could use tomato paste just to get the base a bit reddish like this, guys. So I'll add the fish ball. Then once I add it, then I'll go ahead. And mix everything and add my broccoli because this stage you don't want anything to overcook you're just gonna cook this for another 10 minutes so i use the whole um broccoli the full pack that's what i use for this um recipe guys so i'll leave it to steamer for five minutes then i will add in some coloring as you could see it doesn't have lots of color so my bell pepper red onions white onions you know with the green and red and yellow chili guys so you just slice and then you top it up and leave it to steamer guys then you mix look at that the flavors you know i always promote flavors because flavor that makes your food taste nice guys you don't want your food to be smelling fishy use the right spice for everything you get the perfect taste you're looking for so guys the measurement and the size it depends some people they're single one two family so you always use small to your own perfection then your spring onions always wash it guys peel that top peel and then take the stamp off and then you know slice and top it off to finish off guys so now i'm going to show you how to cook your bulgur wheat guys once the water is hot starting to boil go ahead and add the full pack i cooked the full pack in this stage if you're cooking half the measurement of the water it doesn't matter just cook it like this boil for 10 minutes then you go ahead and wash it over the sink use your strainer drain all the water out and bring back the pan onto the stove so once you add your salt or maggi depending what you tolerate and then you mix then leave a little bit of water inside now this stage leave it to steamer for 20 minutes guys when you leave it to steamer for 20 minutes it cook perfectly even though the packet it says 15 minutes but no you take at least 25 minutes to cook this and it comes out really nice so as you can see the stew it's ready your fishbowl broccoli stew it's ready yeah so this is my presentation what do you think give me a thumbs up for my presentation guys so please you go and change diet it's so this is light you can eat this at any time it's very light it has vegetable in then i also cook potato as well the secret recipe for you guys yes a bonus sorry the the broccoli wheat fall apart so it's for my presentation a bit there <laughs> so back to the potato stew and then fish ball so i use the same base guys like i said the measurement should be down i used two to two onions so i can blend and then divide it in the middle because i was using the same to cook the potato stew as well and the seasonings that's the same i use guys 
But this stage, I just add everything in one go, just like you saw me doing. I add everything in one go and then mix. So once I mix everything, this time I use the tomato plum. I use the full tin, guys. So then I will go ahead now and mix everything. Because if you also want to stew a lot, you can use more onions and more tomato, sweet pepper, just to make your stew a bit more. If you want to eat it with maybe rice or other stuff. Or bread so you get the stew then you can see I add all the potato the full pack of potato as well I use the measurement will be down guys then you go ahead and just cover it like this so if you if you cover it for 10 minutes 20 minutes it boils really well don't forget the heat turn it down and then if the oil is a lot like this which I end up take off later on off camera because I needed the oil to cook the stew and the potato with it don't add a lot of water just small water so because everything will just cook in one go guys so as you can see i've took all the oil out now i'm going ahead now and add the fish ball so once i add all the fish ball then i will just uh, mix again now this stage the potato potato is already cooked at this stage you see so this is why you put everything together and cook it you can also cook this in the oven as well just stick it in but please mind you pay attention to the it is very very important because on your own side i don't know the kind of cooker you're using but just pay attention like i said some of us we know how to cook already it's just an idea and then you can do it your own way you want to do it you don't have to cook it like the way i do guys so i hope you enjoyed this recipe just to change diet you know this food is very light and healthy some protein you know you need that all these things fish you can see the fish i only use just 10 12 pound yeah because i use three fish yeah it cost me like i think 15 but it's so much it's so much you can have so much with fish nowadays than meat if I said that I bought 10 pound meat, I couldn't have used it for two dish. And I use this for three videos. The other one is just small that I take small fish ball to do our salon fish ball, which that video will be coming to you soon. Yeah, salon snack, what you cook for the day. That video is just like if you don't want to cook meat or chicken, those snacks, food, it's coming that video, full video. So thank you for watching. I hope you like the video, guys. Give me a thumbs.